everyone, Mr. Tryhard C here. Now I have a special treat for you today. I've been rumoring this review for the past like a month, and I think it's about time it happens. If you didn't take the cue from the table in the last review, it's gonna be my first ever masterpiece, Hot Rod Baby. But Mr. Tryhard C, I thought you said an iron hide this whole time. That was my brother's, so I got Hot Rod as a testament to uh, my Hot Rod and blur reviews because my G1 season 3 reviews do stupidly good. So I decided to make it my first masterpiece because I kinda like Hot Rod. And my voice is also cracking, dang it. Without further ado, masterpiece Hot Rod, let's go! I have something in my pocket. Now, first, I think it's a good idea to take a look at the rope, at the car mode. So let's uh, go ahead and transform him. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. He is quite annoying to transform. But then again, he's not nearly as annoying to transform as some abominations of nature that people call fun and easy. Same can be said for Beast Megatron, but... That and more because it's Bayvers. Anyway, let's get into the car mode, I guess. And there's the car mode! This guy has some pretty nice features, and while he is a bit annoying to transform, he does, in the end, come together really cleanly and pretty beautifully. However, that all goes to chaos when we flip it on the back, much like modern day Transformers. This is an abomination of kibble! As bad as other things, I'll just mind you. But sometimes, some of the features can be a little distracting. Mostly notably that head. But as Joby pointed out in his review, haha, <laughs> funny swivel reference. Uh, if you just flip the head around during transformation, he's A-OK. -okay. Now, uh, another thing. I'm not sure if I have the official release or not, because it feels pretty official. However... It does have a few cheap joints, and most notably, it has the die-cast matrix. It's not supposed to have that, it just came with it, and it's pretty nice. But, did I get the official release or not? Because I got this for like $30 on eBay, so I have no idea. Most likely it's a knockoff, but I still think it's pretty high quality. Maybe a even way jang, jang, whatever you say. You can also use some of his accessories in car mode. Take the two guns, for example, where you can flip it out, and as you can see, there's little spring-loaded joints where you can just put two guns on the top so I can just go as he drives. And if you dislike that look, then you can just pull them off, flip up the engine, and put one in there for a little bit of hood pew 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 action. Pretty cool features, I must say. But hey, they also look pretty good in robot mode, so let's get to that. Then you thought we were done, ha! <laughs> no, instead, we have some car mode size comparisons. Which, first, we have G1 reissue Hot Rod. And I have to say, their colors are pretty similar, and they're also pretty cool. And now we also have Studio Series Hot, Studio Series 86 Hot Rod in the mix. Who knows, maybe I'll get Classics and Titans Return, so I can have a whole plethora of hot rods. I don't know why, I just like to do that. They all vary wildly in design, which, even though this one does look- This one is most cartoon accurate, but this one is more playable, if mine didn't break, like, every five seconds. Yeah. Studio Series is kind of falling apart. Which has been yet to see be seen with a masterpiece, despite its very intolerable joints. But it's still somehow hanging on. So now let's finally get to the transformation.
after a rather kibble-heavy transformation, you get this beauty. The chrome on the armbands, which was also very beautiful in car mode, just has an odd pop to it. I rather think it has more pop to it here, even though the chrome is quite beautiful on the car mode. The paint is spectacular, and the headlights do have a lot of detail. If my camera will focus! Its sculpt is quite nice, but well, I must say, it does appear a bit robotic. Ah ha! Subscribe! Ah. But of course, it kind of all falls apart where we get to this kind of massive backpack. And while it does sort of fit the character, and does have some nice detail, like how the little molded grills pop out once you push the backpack into place, it still doesn't really forgive it for just being quite so hulkingly massive. And now you little swivel obsessed people, it's time for the jobby reference. <laughs> That was weird. Just kidding. Get debated by accessories. Dated before, there's a pretty little matrix made of metal. Die cast metal, and it's quite nice. And you can just stick it. Really? And you can just stick it inside of him. Just like that. Boop. Now he now now he has the matrix. And now you shut close it up. And there you go. He has the matrix now. It's it's pretty it's a pretty cool little feature. And it's quite different from all the other Matrixes I had that we got in Kingdom, and Studio Series, and Earthrise, and everything else that's the remolded thing of plastic. I much prefer this Matrix. Please help my spiral into the insanity. Here's the pizza cutter for Studio Series. Here's the pizza cutter for s this new masterpiece. It's massive. It's a massive pizza cutter. And you can apply it by simply opening up his hand, folding it in, and revealing a little nub. And he can stick it on and he can cut you some pizza or cut some faces off of Decepticons. It's your choice to decide whether it's Michael Bay or G1. Of course, if you think uh, melee weapons are kind of useless, then you'll be happy to know there's another quite odd and useless accessory, a fishing rod, which was seen with him in his first moments in the 1986 movie when he was fishing with Daniel. It's an odd accessory, but I rather quite like it. To have some painted black detail to show the fishing wire, and as this is more screen accurate, it makes me wonder why one wasn't included with the studio series would have all the Transformers fishing action we never wanted! Yeah! Gotta admit though, these fishing poses are actually pretty cool. I might just use them in a few series. But with that out of the way, let's move on to some other accessories known as... Tra I just tore off his hand. I gotta fix that really quick. His hands sometimes do have a habit of sliding off, but that non uh, that's fixable. The trading card! MP28 Cybertron Medic. Okay, then. Hot Rodimaso! Because it's Japanese, and this is just translated to English. And as Joby stated in his review, that knee cannot go up that far. You are, you are looking at the maximum upness. That, that, it can't really work the same. But on the back, you have some stats, and he has some pretty good traits. There's stats, robot mode, vehicle mode, and it says a bunch of Japanese letters that I would like to auto-translate, but, but I'll do that someday. I don't really care at the moment. Move on to the final accessories, his beautiful, just really nice legs. They have paint, but they can't really get scratched that hard. It's pretty cute, actually. I do, I do like the silver gun, made, gun metal gray they have going here. Of the guns! You can flip them back out, and you can flip them back out, and you can just plug them into the hands by opening the fingers and snaggling it in there, and now he has a gun! But look out, Megatron, because he comes with a second one. Uh, <laughs> It's two guns now. Maybe if you had two guns in the auto on the in, in the movie 1986, maybe Prime would have died. Maybe Hot Rod would have used his guns on Megatron, and the Autobots would have won. Instead, he had to go. <laughs> yeah, new viewers are out of their wit at the moment. Oh, it's actually time for Swivel. Okay, first we have a nice little butterfly joint here, but it's only forwards and, and not backwards, which is a bit odd. You have a nice little swivelish thing here, and it can flow like a little wave. You can have a little 
360 spin at the arm, 90 degree bend. Actually, no, it's not 90 degrees. It's rather large bend. And then you have a little hand that can articulate, have fingers. It does things. It can go inside because my thing is odd. Ah! You can open the thing. You can shut the thing. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool thing. Have a swivel at the waist. Ab crunch. Ab crunch. Ball joint at the leg. Uh, bend at the knee, double bend at the knee. It's pretty cool. You have some nice angle tilt. It has a little bit of tilt, but it can go really far forward, so you can get into some dynamic posing. Time for size comparisons! Ah, there's G1 Hot Rod. Pretty, pretty, it's a pretty cute little hot rod. He has a little reflective sticker on it that I got distracted in, in the Studio Series review. I'm honestly, I'm honestly kind of leaning towards liking the Studio Series more. It has a lot more playable features, might not break on you so easily, and it's a pretty decent figure, all things considered. People say it's overpriced, I don't think so, I don't mind the price. And, uh, I have a whole hot rod trio here. Now, I will say... I'm probably gonna use Masterpiece Hot Rod as my Rodimus Prime because I am not buying K Kingdom Rodimus. My gosh, that thing's eighty dollars. I'll buy it when it goes on discount. But geez, this looks so much better as the Rodimus Prime. I mean, you can even kind of see the difference of even color, which was happened in the cartoon. I am talking on and on. Now, one thing that both these guys share is the flippable visor. Yippee! You can get his Ray Bans out. Just like in the 80s movie, yippee. However, this one is a bit harder to get out. And it kind of does restrict head rotation because when you try to lift it up, sometimes it'll get stuck and pull out. Oh dear, my, my, something's happening with lag. I do not know what that was. Here he is with the rest of the Studio Series 86 lineup that I have and all the other Season 3 Autobot main characters. And here he is, next to uh, the one I believe is the most likely candidate for the next review, Kingdom Huffer, because I just recently got him, and uh, I don't really have any other figures that are pretty much interesting at the moment. So, at the end of the day, I'd say you should probably pick this guy up. He's a really amazing figure, and I got him on eBay for like 30 bucks. So if you have the time and patience and money to deal with him, which you don't need a lot. I was a little bit harsher to him than I really should have been. He's a pretty amazing figure, and I would recommend him to anyone who is looking for a good Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime. And uh, with that, I'd like to give this video as technically a kind of final shout out to uh, my Hot Rod fan, Art Teacher. Uh, and this was just a way to say thanks for being an awesome teacher this year. And plus, he is kind of fitting as he is one of my most popular reviews of the studio series. Who knows, maybe this will do better. But it's only fitting that he be the one. So, on the faded masterpiece top shelf, my iPad is in the way and is making the shot look horrible. But it's only fitting that Hot Rod be the one to take the top shelf. You can say is the mo at the moment is, uh, thanks for watching. This was a really fun review to do, my first masterpiece. So, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. I swear to goodness, if you can hear the rest of my family in the background, I'm going to go crazy.